guys, it's Flower Gothic coming to you from Undisclosed Location in Oregon. Right now, I am on my annual vacation away from the glitz and glamour of humid as fuck Houston, Texas. But there has been a bit of an epidemic of ads going on on YouTube where it turns out almost everybody is getting recommended videos from a channel known as Classically Abby who, according to one of my friends, is the Jewish girl defined. And another one of my friends, actually multiple friends of mine, said it was Ben Shapiro's sister, which shocked me. I didn't know Ben Shapiro had a sister, did you? So clearly, because we have all been continuously advertised to by Classically Abby, I thought, she, she wants you to watch your video? She, sh fuck. She wants people to watch her videos, I'm going to give them a watch and I'm actually going to respond to them because I am her ideological opposite. If she is anything like Ben Shapiro, which she probably is. After all, they're related. <laughs> so without further ado, let's begin. The first video I'm going to watch is called Ladies Stop Hooking Up, A Jewish Wife's Message, dot dot dot, Hello. about sex. And from the likes to dislike ratio, I can tell this is going to be a classic. Hashtag conservative influencer, hashtag let's be classic, hashtag cash classic crew. And it looks like 90% of the comments are just stop advertising to us. Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video. I mean, you are a beautiful lady yourself. I'd fuck you. Yeah, that's right, Abby. You may be a straight homophobic asshole, but I'd fuck you. How does that make you feel? Where we're going to be talking about why you should stop hooking up. Why I should stop hooking up. If you're a woman in 2020, you've heard you need to be empowered. You do you. The patriarchy is holding you back. Sleep with who you want, when you want. But this is a bunch of lies. Said in red, so... You know she means business. Maybe you want to hook up with a guy because you care about him and you don't want to let him get away. Sleeping with him is the easiest way for him to take you and your feelings for granted. No. No, it isn't. There are other ways to manipulate people aside from sex, classically Abby. Maybe you want to have sex with a guy you really like and can see having a future with. Hooking up with him could mask all of the problems in your relationship that would lead to your eventual breakup and just prolong the inevitable. So you're implying that premarital sex will inevitably cause you to withstand a bad breakup. There are several issues with this claim. Sex will only muddy the waters and prevent you from making a clear-headed decision. Sex will only make you feel less empowered. I have a big brain with a galaxy take. Maybe you want to have sex with someone because you're lonely and it will fill up the time until you meet the right person. Oh, honey, 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 honey. When I feel lonely and want to fill the void in my heart, I just pour out my feelings on Twitter. <laughs> I'm not even gonna make a joke here. I'm pathetic. <laughs> I haven't had sex in months. Having sex with the wrong person is the easiest way to prolong your loneliness since you'll be too distracted to find Mr. Right. Maybe you'll be too distracted to find Mr. Right. What about people who just enjoy casual sex? Like, I enjoy certain kinds of casual sex. Not all kinds. I wouldn't, like, hook up with some rando at the local Moe's. <laughs> but still. Now let's get the record straight. I'm not saying sex is bad. In fact, sex is wonderful. I've had sex. Please believe me. I've definitely had sex before. I am woman. Hear me roar. Sex by itself is nothing. It's regret when the act is done. And sadness knowing nothing else will come of it. Love, marriage, a family, a future, all fit in with sex and make sex so much more than a physical act. You know how you... Ah, uh, yes. Sex, an act of love. So what if I've kissed outside of marriage? I've kissed outside of marriage. I've never been married before. That healthy lifestyle you want disappears when you have sex with anyone and everyone, wherever and whenever. Are you slut-shaming? For shame, you son of a bitch. 
There's a reason that women who wait until marriage to have sex are happier on average. Fewer sex partners means a happier marriage. Who have had people who have had sex with fewer people seem to be more satisfied. That doesn't apply sex at, before marriage, you adult. A good guy will wait for you. No. A good guy will wait for you. Josh Duggar is a good guy. He waited for marriage. <laughs> well, that's all I'm gonna do for now. I gotta go back to vacationing and shit. But let me know in the comments if you want me to react to another Classically Abby video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.